All right, Keenan Ricardo, Vikings wide receivers coach, is here outside the TCO Performance Center and coach. Um, we were just joking off screen. You pulled your hamstring or something. You did something to your hamstring trying to trying to run routes out there? Yeah, I'm, I might be a little bit too old to be running routes right now. You know, I'm not T.O. right now, look. But I was trying to show guys a little technique and uh, I tweaked my hamstring a little bit. But even, <laughs> coach, it's all good. You don't, you don't prove your worth in the league. Even as a player, as a coach, you won Super Bowls and the players respect you for, for just being out there. But still, Adam, year 10, JJ, year three, you got guys behind those guys still learning from you running routes. Like, how has that transition been, just being their coach these last two years? It's been good. I mean, a, a guy like KJ has, start, has started to understand what route running is. Not to say he didn't know already, but he started to see a little bit more uh, how Adam is running routes, how JJ is running routes. And I always tell these guys, you're your own painter. You know, your, your, your painting is gonna be different from JJ's, Adam's, Amir's. It's always gonna be different. I mean, each guy runs routes a lot, a lot different, you know. Hey, but the art is, is being a good fundamental route runner. And that, that starts with good footwork, good, good uh, being able to separate and understand how to separate, understanding coverages. And that's how you get to be really good route runners. And I, I feel like that's just going to be more of an emphasis this year, right? Because with everyone talking about this is 11 personnel, more receivers on the field, it's going to be more throws down the field. That's got to excite you as a receivers coach, understanding like, okay, we got to be better at our routes, but we're going to be getting the ball now too. Yeah, it is. I mean, it puts more pressure on us to make plays and that's what we want in our room. You got to rise up to the pressure. And uh, I think we got guys that, that understand that. They don't worry about the pressure. They just go out and play football. I, I tell them that all the time. Don't worry about the pressure. Just go make your plays. When your number's called, go make, go make the play. Well, a guy that's made a lot of plays, we all know his name, Justin Jefferson. Everybody's talking about him. Here's a deep shot. There's Jefferson. Touchdown! As his coach, is JJ a top five receiver in the NFL right now? <laughs> I laugh, man, because <laughs> I don't, I'm not a big social media guy. Uh -huh. I'm probably in, in caveman age, I haven't seen that, but you know, in this league, yeah, I would say he is a top five receiver. I mean, uh, you know, I to me, I think he's the best receiver because he's mine. He's the guy that I'm coaching. I mean, it could be anybody, Adam. I think he's the best receiver. You know, I think KJ's a, the best receiver because they're mine. I'm, I'm coaching them. You know, and I like I, I want them to be the best. I want them to drive, push themselves, and have that drive to be the best. So. I let other people talk about who's the best and this, that, and another. We just keep putting that production on the field. Where do you want to see this room grow in your second year as a coach? I want to see my younger guys step up just like, just like JJ and, and Adam. You know, I think uh, KJ's made that step. It's time for Amir to make a step. Uh, Tristan, Myron Mitchell, the Jalen Naylors. I want to see those guys step up, you know, and, and, and step up and do the things that they're supposed to do. We always talk about as a as a coach, you want your guys to make it hard for you to cut them. Like at you know this time of the year, you get six months off. I mean six weeks off, and then you got training camp, and that's when the the work starts. And then you got a guy in BC Johnson that's coming on the scene. You know again, how how has he been making your job hard during this process? He's making it hard because he's a veteran. He knows how to make plays in this league. He's made plays in this league. He knows how to play it. Uh, comes out each and every day with a professional mindset and understands that. This is his job now. And when, when God I tell this to my, my room all the time, when you understand that this is your job and you're fortunate enough to play a game that's your job, you gotta go make it happen because your mom and dad woke up every morning to put food on the table for you. You playing the game as your job, so you should wake up every morning and wanna come here and make it happen. When do you say that usually hits? Just just for a receiver, like is that year one, year two, year three? Like when does that, okay, okay I'm in this league and this is this is my livelihood because like usually rookie year is like oh shoot but when when does that actually hit? Most of the time it comes halfway through their second year. Okay, you know, and on that third year they they make it happen. Okay, you know, and they start to understand that. But that's why I always say the faster they understand it, the faster they'll understand that every day you come out, you got to put your best work on the field. My last question for you, um, it's been a new system for everybody here. And I think talking to Adam a couple of weeks ago, it helped me understand that how mental 
this game is because until you learn the plays, you really, you like everybody else. So how has this installation process been for you? What, what is the, I won't say ceiling, but what is the, the future growth for this room with this new system? It's a new system. Uh, you know, I think guys are eager to learn it, you know, and I think the growth in my room uh, can be out of this world, you know, if, if they just buy into it and think about being a smart football player as well as a, a unbelievable athlete, you know, and you, once you be a smart football player and go out and put your talents to work, this, this system will help you go, go reach your goals. Man, the ultimate goal is the Super Bowl. That's it. Hopefully we can get that. Kenny McCardell, my name is Gabe Henderson. We'll see you soon.